folks, we're only about a mile away from the last dry riverbed. Now, Race and I are in a completely different location with more rocks than you can even count. This is where we're looking for the dusky salamander. What do you say? Can we find one? Let's go. Okay, it's not a dusky salamander, but magnificent nonetheless. These creatures are a key ingredient to a healthy river. Folks, with the River Guardians project, we're going into these dry river beds and we're looking for signs of aquatic insects. This stonefly is a great sign of the health of this habitat. We were looking for these years ago. Hey, dragonfly. Ray saw a dragonfly. And to see one here in this dry riverbed speaks volumes of how clean Daddy, this water is. It's all about biodiversity. And even little things like these stoneflies add up to make a difference in keeping this ecosystem in balance. For many, many years, we called the chain of life a food chain. But over time, we began to realize it's more like a food web. Things expand out. It's exponential how important it is for us to get a realization of how one insect, like this stonefly, could actually connect itself even to us. For those of you trout fishermen, these flies are ending up in the bellies of those fish that end up inside of us, inside of eagles, inside of osprey. This water system that we are now investigating is the bed and the beginning of the ecosystem. And we need to protect this water with our life because our life depends on it. Stick with us. There are over 3,000 species of stonefly on the planet, and new ones are being identified all the time. Expedition New England, stick with us. <laughs>